Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Russian nation state hackers and evil twin attacks. Last week, Bloomberg released an article talking about how Russian nation state spies were engaging in various wireless hacking incidents. In one case, the Dutch authorities caught a Russian nation state spy with a car or trunk full of wireless hacking equipment and antennas. And it turned out this attacker was trying to man in the middle the wireless network of an organization that prohibits the use of chemical weapons. And these nation state actors were also found trying to wirelessly hide the organization of various anti-doping agencies around the world, and in some cases even found near some hotels. In any case, the trunk full of equipment contained a whole bunch of wireless hacking gear, including some pretty popular off-the-shelf things like a wireless pineapple. If you haven't heard of it, it's a pretty inexpensive and easy to use wireless hacking device that really turns wireless hacking into a point-and-click type of UI. It's simple to use even for non-technical folks. In any case, it turned out these actors were trying to set up what's called an evil twin. That's when you fake the SSID of a real wireless network. For instance, if I were near Starbucks and I saw they had a wireless network called Starbucks, what I can do is put up my own wireless network with the exact same SSID. I could even use tools to kind of copy the MAC address that the real Starbucks access point was using. And then if my signal is strong enough, I can trick users, Starbucks users, into joining my network instead of the real Starbucks network. Now the problem here is even though the user might have internet access through the attacker, at that point the attacker has full man-in-the-middle capability. He can see all the traffic that goes through his access point, thus intercepting all of his victim's traffic. In any case, evil twin attacks are actually decades old. They were one of the first wireless attacks ever done. That said, many, many businesses do not have the security solutions in place to protect against these sorts of evil twin attacks. At best, some people have rogue AP detection software that can show you when there might be a rogue AP around, but you need something called wireless intrusion prevention or WIPS technology to actually prevent your trusted clients from joining the wrong network. The other issue is not all WIP solutions are created equal. Some WIP solutions are less effective and are harder to actually enable without affecting your neighbor wireless traffic as well. There's only a few WIP solutions that you can turn on to prevent evil twin attacks and actually be effective without knocking down your neighbor's network or something like that. WatchGuard recently announced or launched our Trusted Wireless Environment uh, initiative, where we had a number of different wireless access points tested through a third party to see which ones had the best WIPs protection for six of the most common attacks out there, including this evil twin attack. And I think you'll find WatchGuard did very well. In any case, this was quite an interesting story, mostly because it proves that even old wireless attacks like evil twin attacks are still leveraged in the real world, not just by cyber criminals, but by even sophisticated nation states. So if you have wireless in your network and you don't already have a good WIP solution, it's definitely something you want to think about. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.